recapping that my machine learning foundation series consists of eight subjects. The second subject we're currently undertaking, linear algebra two matrix operations, builds heavily upon the intro to linear algebra subject and is itself foundational for subsequent subjects in the series, particularly calculus one, intro to statistics, and optimization. Hopefully you've been having so much fun that the subject has flown by, but believe it or not, we're already reaching the end of the second subject. The first two segments of the linear algebra two subject were a review of introductory linear algebra, which really did fly by because we simply did a quick recap of the content from the first subject that's absolutely critical for moving forward with the current one, and eigen decomposition, which we wrapped up in the preceding video and in which we focused on matrix decomposition, an essential topic to be able to move onward now with the practical and pretty darn mind boggling data science applications of the third and final segment, matrix operations for machine learning. Specifically in this segment three, we'll cover singular value decomposition, which enables us to decompose rectangular matrices. Recalling that eigen decomposition is applicable only to square matrices, SVD is critical because non-square matrices abound in data science and machine learning. As an example of the practical utility of SVD, we'll use it to reduce the size of an image file by 96%. The Moore-Penrose pseudo-inverse, which empowers us to invert non-square matrices. This will enable us to solve for unknowns within systems of equations that are common in machine learning, and I'll show you how by using the pseudo-inverse to fit a line to points. The trace operator, which is the final piece of linear algebra theory you need to understand in order to be able to use principal component analysis, a popular machine learning technique for identifying the influential patterns within a data set, even if our data are unlabeled. And finally, resources for the further study of linear algebra. If you'd like to go beyond the essentials that we covered in these videos, that you need it for machine learning, if you wanna go beyond that, well, I'll provide you with plenty of resources for doing so. Not only will these topics conclude segment three, they'll wrap up the entire second subject, linear algebra two matrix operations, meaning that we'll have completed learning about all of the essential linear algebra you need to intimately understand machine learning algorithms. To boot, we'll also be very well prepared to move onward with the calculus subjects that follow in my Machine Learning Foundation series. All right, you excited? Let's start leveraging matrix operations for machine learning.